it's a really interesting battle for the top pick uh, coming out of the OHL next year with Quinton Musty and Callum Ritchie. Uh, Musty actually went first overall in the OHL priority sec- selection, but you were higher on Ritchie. And, and why is that? Well, Richie, I think is just slicker. Musty's a big kid. He's still going to get add muscle. He he plays a much different game than than Richie does. But uh, in saying that, just because he's bigger, I actually think you can typically look at those players who are bigger like a Musty and expect him to be kind of the power forward, the more forceful player. And I actually don't think that's true necessarily of Musty. His hands are actually his probably his greatest attribute. But Richie is just so slick with the puck on his stick. He's just has this way of slicing up coverage and controlling the puck and beating players one-on-one and beating goalies one-on-one. He's lethal on breakaways uh, that is pretty rare. And I think next year you're going to see him take a huge step. He hasn't produced at the top of that Oshawa team this year, but whenever I've watched them, almost every single game I've watched them, frankly, he has scored or been the most dangerous player on that team and has often looked more dangerous than say a Ty Tulio who's, two and a half years older and a drafted prospect. Uh, So I've just really enjoyed watching him play. He he just has these kind of magnetic hands and his ability to sort of hang onto the puck and make plays is pretty unique. So I'm really, really excited to see what he becomes. uh, And I expect that he'll put up big numbers next year and really have a huge sort of statement season and become ahead of Musty, the the top guy out of the OHL. Uh, I'm sure Musty won't, you know, give up without a fight though. So what what do you like most about his game? Yeah. So I touched on the hands with Musty, despite being six foot three, he handles the puck. Like you'd maybe expect a five foot nine, five foot 10 player to handle the puck. He scored some highlight heel goals this year, uh, made plays where he's beaten three, four layers instead of just sort of beating the first guy and then making his play. He's comfortable hanging on to the puck. He's comfortable attacking in control. He wants to take the puck into the slot and make, those sort of game breaking plays. Uh, And then obviously he has the size component, which is really exciting for a lot of scouts and the reason that Sudbury took him first. So uh, really a a very intriguing player and a player who I think is quite early, despite being a first overall pick, actually quite early on in his sort of path, in his trajectory and his development. So I think there's a lot of runway still for Quinton to tap into some of his upside to fill out his frame a little bit more and to become a very, very dominant player at the junior level. And then obviously potentially an impactful one at the NHL level. 